Hello, my name is Sean Kavanaugh. I'm a technical marketing manager here at Red Hat Ansible. Today, I'll be trying to set a speed record for quickest demo, and I'm gonna be showing how to enable the new UI on Automation Controller. So let's get started. I'm gonna log into Ansible Automation Platform 2.4, and you'll see the familiar user interface that folks are used to. You're gonna scroll down to settings in the bottom left. You're gonna click MISC system settings right here. You're going to scroll down and click edit in the mis miscellaneous system settings. And then you're going to see this new knob, enable preview of new user interface. And you're going to simply click this toggle knob. It will go on and turn blue. You will click save. In the top left, you can click dashboard or you can just click the logo here. And you'll now see this new blue info banner that says a tech preview of the new Ansible Automation Platform user interface can be found here. And you simply click the here that's underlined and you will get the new user interface. It'll come up with a prompt that says, welcome to the new, use, the new Ansible user interface. And you simply will click this do not show this message again or this will keep popping up when you go back and forth and click close. And the first thing you'll notice is that this is in dark mode. Um, you can simply click on the settings in the top right and you'll notice that it's set to system default. So on my Mac OS computer, I use dark mode a lot. I just prefer it for the way my eyes work. It will default to system default, but you can also set this to light or dark and pin it there, depending on what you like. So now that that's set, you can see that it's in light mode, which is more like the familiar familiarity with the theme you had before, but you can also just click it at any time in the top right and click the settings. So you'll notice the dashboard is quite a bit different. The logo is much easier to read. It's not sh like shrunk up there. The menu is very similar and laid out the same way, but the dashboard is much different. It's a much cleaner look. It's also much snappier to go around. If I click between windows, you'll see how fast it is compared to what it was before. Um, other things you'll notice is that not every feature has been pushed over yet. So a lot of this is still being developed. That's why it's a technical preview and it's not generally available as support because we need feedback. We need to test it. There's a lot of changes happening here as we're moving towards a unified uh, UX experience across all of our different components in the Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform. So for example, if I click in here and I click launch, job template the streaming of job is not available yet but that is something that's coming and it will simply tell you if that feature is not available yet so it says this feature the job is currently running but this has not been yet added to the tech preview so it's very simple and if you need to revert back for some reason through your testing of the new user experience you just simply go back to the dashboard click here and it will revert back and you can leave that up but if this blue banner annoys you for some reason you can always just go into the miss system settings again click edit toggle it off click save and then go back to the dashboard if the blue banner still shows up again you just refresh it's just cached within your browser and you'll see that it's gone so any of your users aren't going to see that tech preview button so again it's an optional knob that you can turn on and test and play with and while features may not be there if you're upgrading we're having lots of releases um, coming out we're now using a z streamless release pattern so a lot of the new user experience features will come out over time and again the long-term plan is to create a unified user experience across private automation hub event-driven ansible and automation controller so it's much simpler for our customers and the community to use the product and the projects to make sure that it's easy to control manage and scale your automation and that concludes the demo. It was very fast, very quick. Um, in the description, you'll see it, uh, a link to Ansible Automation Platform 2.4, where you can find more information and the support policy around technical preview components. Thank you for watching and have a great day.